Hey, how's it going guys? It's Charles with West USA Realty and today we're going to do our market update for the month of June. So if you are a seller and you're thinking of either, you know, should I sell my house? Should I keep my house? You really want to watch this video. Alright guys, we're going to start out with the city of Phoenix. Uh, we have seen some amazing growth as far as the appreciation numbers uh, year over year. We're taking this from May of last month to May of last year. So if you know anything about real estate, you guys know it's a 30 day business, right? It's trailing uh, 30 days. So when we had our full shelter in place, which was the month of April, we still saw a ton of growth. A lot of those homes were under contract the month before. So people not being able to go anywhere, let's look at May and see what happened because these are a lot of people who didn't get into the market to buy or sell their homes because they were sheltering in place, right? So when we look at this, I'm still seeing overall an amazing amount of appreciation across the valley. I'm seeing a, an amazing decline as well for uh, average days on market, but there's some other things I want to talk to you guys about um, that may be important because inventory is still low. So here's Phoenix in a nutshell. Uh, going on down, again, we're covering the West Valley here. We're looking at Avondale. Uh, they had an appreciation of a little bit over 7.5% uh, when it comes to just year over year. And I don't know a better indicator of the market strength other than, you know, how you're doing during a pandemic, right? So uh, overall, actually every city that I'm going to cover is up, but there's a couple that are only up like 1%. So as we go on down to Buckeye, we see a very similar story. Uh, days on market are down, things are selling faster for again, more money. If you are a seller and you're thinking about selling your house, I would really behoove you to actually think about uh, uh, selling now, only if you're selling and buying. If you're selling and buying because you're gonna get back into this market on the other side of it, uh, whether the market goes up or down, I really don't know how much longer rates are gonna be this low. Uh, they're printing money, they're doing all types of things to stimulate the economy, and in addition to that, the rates are probably as low as they can go. So even if you wait to sell or buy, uh, and everything stays the same, goes up or down, I don't see that rate staying where it's at. So that makes the same house that much more just because of that interest rate, your payment's gonna go up. Uh, looking at El Mirage, El Mirage, as always, a beast when it comes to days on market, super low. Uh, appreciation's up, inventory again is down 50, 50% in El Mirage, 50% less homes are available on the market. So you know how supply and demand works, guys. Uh, Glendale, looking at that city, again, we're up uh, when it comes to Glendale. And then we're looking at the uh, the actual days on market also down uh, when we're looking at that city. Now, Goodyear is one of the two cities that is like, hey, what's going on here? So we did see appreciation, but just barely. We only saw 1% year over year in the city of Goodyear. Uh, we do see the average days on market going down. I can tell you from an agent looking for clients in that city, everything's gone in like, you know, the sexy ones go quick. But, uh, you know, they're going in like days with multiple offers. But at the same time, inventory is down substantially along with the, uh, with the actual amount of homes sold, of course. Um, but I would I want to see why why is Goodyear only up one percent? Is it because we have newer homes on the market selling for cheaper? Because the larger homes aren't selling, and what makes up that number? So uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about this stuff, because I know there's a cross stock facility coming in and parts of Goodyear things like that, just let me know. Uh, looking at the city of Levine and again, uh, <laughs> that city more than 50% less days on the market. So they're selling that much quicker over there. It's just that the price point is just right in Levine apparently and, and people are just buying them up. Uh, less homes are available also. Again, this story we're telling of all these cities, but old Litchfield Park being very consistent uh, year over year. Uh, I would probably say this is the most consistent city over here in the West Valley. Uh, we're just chugging along, 14% appreciation. Uh, days on market are down about 42%, but we're just looking pretty in Litchfield Park. Uh, Peoria, again, this is that second city who had only a little bit of appreciation, 2%, which is very weird here in Arizona. We're usually leading the nation in our appreciation. We're definitely a, the, one of the most volatile markets in the in the union. But, uh, you know, Peoria, only up 2%. Days on market are down, inventory's down. Why only two? 
So when we're looking at the City of Surprise, uh, again, this is the same old story. You can check those numbers right here. I know a lot of clients living in Surprise. City of Tullison, fastest uh, time frame when it comes to today's on market. Actually, just a hair, uh, a day shorter than uh, El Mirage. They always go back and forth. Uh, but as far as days on market down, actually 32%. Uh, when it comes to the city of Waddell, our last one, because we go in alphabetical order, starting with Phoenix, but uh, looking at that city, again, same story here. So this is our market update for June 2020. If you guys have any questions about buying or selling a house, uh, please let me know. If you want to get more of these updates, also there should be a link somewhere. So I will talk to you guys soon, and you have a great day.